Oh, what you got there? Uh, it's a laptop. Okay, two questions. First one, what sort of laptop? Uh, it's an Intel 13700H with a 4060 GPU, DDR5 RAM and a Thunderbolt port. Nice. Uh, second, far more important question, why is the box so big? I don't know actually, it came in this giant box. It's just one laptop, a giant box, so who knows? Hmm. It's that time of year again when I grow my yearly laptop beard and talk about laptops. Now we receive a lot of emails about the best computer or laptop to use with vMix. So to make things easier, we built a page on our website called Reference Systems. This will show you some of the different options of systems that you could reference when you're purchasing your vMix computer. Now our laptop option is under the Sapphire tab, so be sure to check that out if you're ever wondering what specs to look for. If you've already got a laptop and you want to see how vMix runs on it, just download our free 60-day trial via vmix.com and away you go. This year we've decided to just buy a Thunderbolt laptop as our recommended laptop, so you are covered if you plan on using Thunderbolt for your capture. It's a Gigabyte Aorus 15 and can be bought from B&H at the time of this publication for $1549 USD. Now it's a 15.6 inch laptop with an Intel i7 13700H processor, RTX 4060 GPU, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, Thunderbolt 4, one terabyte SSD and a MUX switch. MUX switch you say? Yes, a MUX switch will allow you to solely use your dedicated GPU for processing. This is great for vMix so that you can get the full performance out of your laptop. A MUX switch has become more and more common and most manufacturers will advertise this now in their promotional information. Now you do need to switch it on as it's not on by default typically, but I'll show you how to do that on this laptop shortly. Previously, we've needed to look for G-Sync laptops as the best indicator of bypassing the integrated GPU, but you don't really need to look for that as much anymore as manufacturers have included MUX switches. Unfortunately though, it can be a little bit hard to always determine if something has a MUX switch or not, so you need to do a little bit of research. I'll link a guide in the description from Jared's Tech, which is an Australian YouTuber who goes through a lot of laptops, uh, and it will show you which laptops will have a MUX switch. Now for the most part, having a good gaming laptop with a dedicated GPU, a good CPU, and a MUX switch will work well with vMix. The laptop we've selected has all of the latest gear for 2023, a 13th gen i7 Intel CPU, 4000 series GPU, and DDR5 RAM. To be honest, there wasn't a huge upgrade from our previous recommendation in 2022. The main thing would be the 4000 series GPU, which will allow for AV1 encoding in the future when vMix supports it. There are a few combos out there that have a 13th gen CPU with a 3000 series GPU. Now this is going to work really well for vMix as well. You shouldn't be doing it but instant replay with a laptop would be better suited for a 3000 series GPU because of a lowering of memory bandwidth in some of the lower end 4000 series cards. If you are doing replay with vMix, please listen and please use a desktop computer. Check out the reference systems for using the best computer with vMix instant replay. So let's ask some of the age old questions. Tim, can I buy another laptop with the same specs? Sure. Just make sure it's an Intel i7 13700H or better, RTX 3060 or 4060 GPU or better, 16 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM or more, SSD and a MUX switch. Oh, and Thunderbolt if you plan on needing it. That leads us to the next question, Thunderbolt or not? Well, if you don't plan on using Thunderbolt for your capture, then you don't need a Thunderbolt capable laptop. You'll need to sit down and have a think about your capture before processing. How are you going to do it? Will you go with Thunderbolt or perhaps USB, NDI, or another IP based capture like SRT? Will older generations of laptops work for me? Well, buying an older generation laptop would be a good option as things haven't changed a great deal over the last few years. A 12th gen Intel i7, 12700H, and a 3060 Nvidia GPU would work great. These will still offer a resizable bar and allow you to have those five encodes which are available with the latest GPU drivers. So I guess that is something that has changed in the last year. Nvidia has allowed you to update your GPU drivers to have five hardware encodes, which is pretty awesome. So um, this is probably a little bit unrelated, but if you do have a laptop, make sure that you update your Nvidia drivers so that you've got five hardware encodes to take advantage of this. Let's fire up the laptop now and take a look. So firstly, I'm going to access the MUX switch. Although I wish it was a giant switch that I could flick, it's just accessed by a piece of software. For this laptop, I need to go into the Gigabyte Control Center software and then find the MUX switch and set it to my dedicated GPU. Each manufacturer has a different program for doing this, so you'll just need to check the specs of the laptop. 
Now, while I'm here, here's a production that I set up for testing this laptop. It's a 1080-2997P production with four cameras via Thunderbolt, two NDI sources, eight video files, and some images. I'm also dual recording the production, streaming at 1080, and doing a multi-quarter recording of two of my cameras. It's going pretty well with no drop frames on my recording and no issues with my camera feeds. And as you can see here, the render time is good. Now there is a known bug with Windows 11's performance monitor not reporting correctly. So we can check the task manager and see that the CPU is cruising along nicely. Now this is a known bug and hopefully it gets fixed by Microsoft in a Windows update as this is the best way for vMix to work out the performance of the CPU. Now I like to strip my laptop of any programs and things that I'm not going to use. That includes additional security scanners like McAfee and Norton as the inbuilt Windows scanner works well. This laptop didn't actually have a lot of bloatware, which was pretty handy, but I did remove the NVIDIA Omniverse and the NVIDIA Canvas, as I'm not sure what they are and I'm not going to use them. Now, I like to set the screen refresh rate to 60 hertz so that you can kind of squeeze the best performance out of the laptop for vMix. I'll also go through and adjust the power settings to make sure that it's using the max performance, and I'll link our knowledge base guide with all of our recommendations for setting up a new laptop. Most importantly though, plug your laptop in. Uh, it's something that comes up quite a lot. If you don't plug it in, it's not going to use the best performance and you're going to wonder why you're dropping frames and all that kind of stuff. So just plug it in. Okay, here's some of Tim's warm tips. So make sure that you check that the device has enough ports for you. So go over it and have a look at it. Do you need a RJ45 port? How many USB-A ports, USB-C ports does it have? That kind of thing. The position of the ports as well. Do you like power at the back, power from the side? That type of thing. So make sure you take a good look at the setup of the, the laptop. Are you a WASD head? Now this laptop doesn't have a lit up WASD, so if you do need that, make sure you look for it. Make sure it's the right screen size for your needs. You know, I like a 15 inch laptop, some people prefer 17 inch. I like a full HD instead of a 4K because I can't see it and certain things don't scale properly when you go 4K and that type of thing. So I do like a full HD screen, so that's just my personal preference. Now, if you are using it for other things besides vMix, make sure that you check out the specs for that software to make sure that it you know, fits those needs as well. And if you are traveling with it, make sure it's not too heavy for your current fitness level. Um, I personally can't bench press 400 kilos, so I need to make sure that my laptop's pretty light. So that brings us to the end of this video. Now, if you've got a laptop already and you wanna test it out with vMix, head to vMix.com for a free 60 day trial. Now, if you're unsure about buying a laptop and you've been through all of our laptop propaganda, our videos, our websites, you can always send us through an email via the support page on vmix.com. If you found a laptop you're interested in, just send through a link to the website so we can check it out and offer you the best recommendation. Are you doing a laptop production? If so, drop us a comment and let us know what you're up to and what laptop you're using. We always find it interesting to see how people are using their laptops. And I guess if you have got this far in this video too, Maybe tell us what your favorite pizza is. Um, that would be much appreciated. I do enjoy reading about other people's favorite pizzas. So thanks for watching and we will stream you later.